Let's see, we're going to have uh, Jetta being played by Nostalgic. And Skullgirl's God, Wing Zero, is playing Felicia. Actually, I need to post this up in a couple other places as well. Uh, just give me a moment, guys. So Nostalgic is up one game. I think it's only just 1-0 right now. On game number two, Nostalgic gliding in. There are a couple small pokes here and there. Nice overheads. He actually is pretty bad about doing those uh, dashing uh, hard kick overheads, but looks like he's got him down right now. Adding new stuff to his uh, repertoire every time he plays. It's good stuff. Push blocking him off. Ah, nice. Even Wings got some push blocks. I didn't know he had those. Oh, really? Oh, no, guys. Sasuke! Wasn't enough to even it up, but it was kind of like a moral victory. Oh, he tried push blocking him into the wheel. I love it when that happens. Oh really? You gotta watch out for those wings. The fact that it was raw and like wasn't like ticked into or anything. It's probably a good way to set it up. Alright, so nostalgic won that one. Let's see if I can get up uh next match here. Get Weatherby. You're fighting Weatherby. What? We're gonna have Juno versus Weatherby. Oh yeah, all that hitbox info. I hope you like it. I'm the one who put all that up for the most part. I didn't do all of it, but I did at least half of it. Zabble and Felicia's page uh, was mostly me. I had uh, Chichio from uh, Italy actually help with Felicia's page, but Zabble and Felicia have like the most detailed hitbox info up there. <laughs> I actually kind of want to do uh, some other characters in that style. It's just a lot of work. Juno and Weatherby. All right, Sledge won his match over there.
Alright. So, is this gonna... Oh, they're turning up the volume? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have to turn it up. This is a lot uh, quieter than TBC is. You played VSAT for the first time today? It's a bit of a strange game when you first uh, get into it. Wow, challenge is like, wow, challenge is like not working right now. I hope it hopefully it didn't go down. Oh, let me let me check this on the other computer. This challenge is just not loading for me at all right now. All right, so what are we looking at here? All right, get on the match, Matt. Get the matches going. I can't see what's going on. Okay, so weather B going uh, Boletta? Yeah, Juno's already up one right now. All right. Uh, QB is such a pain in the butt, man. Especially yeah. when you're an Acarus. And you don't have that push block thing. You just gotta live with it, man. At this point, you just gotta live with it. I can't even fuzzy guard. All right, so there's a lot of action going on right now. It's too fast to call. The, the but main, well, the main problem with QB versus Anacharis is that QB can couch your standing light punch, and standing light punch is what Anacharis' entire game is built around. Yeah, and not only that, <laughs> I can't push block, and she can pressure me push, for days. Push blocking is whatever. You just don't have a standing light punch. That, that, uh, that is a very big deal. And I can't keep her out, you know. And you, If you have standing light punch, you can keep her out, man. Standing light punch is the god. <laughs> I normally love using down fears as an anti-air, but, you know, I can't against her. Pressure ridiculous. Uh. Ooh. All right, so, so... So the day was not the advent of Weatherby. <laughs> Wait, when are you going to show us the advent of Weatherby, dude? I want to I wanna see you ascend. You got to practice it more, dude. Yeah, the weather like, savior. I see you like, just like on the borderline of being super sick at times. I'm like, holy shit. I'll get there, I'll get there. It's weather savior or vampire B. <laughs> you know? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. He likes you, though. Juno appreciates your love slash VG slash and on, I think. I don't know. He asked who the hell that was. I think that means he's interested. He's waving. He's waving to you now. All right, so who do we got next? Uh, I say hi to my fans. Okay, you heard it straight from Juno's mouth. What did he say? I didn't hear what he said. He said, uh, wherever my fans are, I say hi to my fans. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get Davida and Mike Z. I think. Uh, hold on one second. They, I think they're getting food or something. And I just want to say that Juno. I mean, oh, he's right here. Hey, what's going on, man? What were you about to say? Oh no, no, no! I was just thinking <laughs> out loud, you know. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. I think you forgot something over there. You know, it's, it's over there. It's over there? Yeah, you forgot something, it's over there. I think oh. Matt has it. Oh. You should go talk to Matt. Oh, I see. He could probably give you that thing that you forgot. Give me what? He could probably give you that thing that you forgot. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Well, anyway, so yeah, VSAB here, Rob's stream, going pretty good. I just had my match off stream, and I and I kept and I advanced, obviously. I'm still hungry. Yeah, me too, man. I went to Carl's Jr. and I got myself a big old burger. I'm still hungry, but I don't want to pay nine dollars for a combo right here. So, you know, it's nine dollars for the combo. Yeah, oh. the burger, the fries, and the drink. It's pretty good though. Yeah, it is. Not gonna it is. lie. Yeah. Okay, guys, like I was saying, you know, about Juno, I'm going to... Oh, what's up, man? And, you know, don't even get me started on dying. I'm going to tell you what's up about that. Hey, what's up, man? being annoying I don't understand what he's saying you know I decided to go eat right What's now up? so the timing was just kind of bad hey you someone type in the chat please yeah please <laughs> please let me know you're live in the chat Yo. Yeah. We have we have we have what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. This is it. Oh what's up, Pasta? Oh my god, Pasta Farin. Oh, oh oh my god, who else is here? I don't know, let's, let's start calling out names. Oh my look god, oh look at all these people. Look, look at all these people and none of them are talking. Level one hundred Charizard, I know that guy. Do you? I don't are, know are, him, actually know him, but I see him on like a few you're streams. You're down with the level one hundred Charizard? I, I seen him on like Nerd Josh and like uh Fucking, uh, what's his <laughs> name? Arturo Stream, I think. Sick. When is Killer Instinct? Never. Never ever. We got VSAV instead. We have, uh. Wow, Bingo. After a Saves, really, really quick lead. Savior, TVC, and HNK. And, like, JoJo's, like, once in the blue moon. Well, we're gonna bring JoJo's back a little more often, but I gotta figure out how to work it into the schedule. Schedule oh, yeah. is just like, it's really hard to work stuff in. I might start like running uh, two games during Arc Divide or something, but I need people to get here like earlier in the day if I'm gonna do that. I played Basara X a little bit at Kane's house and. Uh, Sengoku Basara? Yeah, that game's actually not that great. Yeah, no, it's not very good. It looks nice, but it's not that great. Nah. It looks nice? 
I don't know. It's hard for me to tell because it, it looked pretty bad to me. But the only footage I've seen has been like really, really, really bad footage from like SBOs and stuff. And that footage is just really terrible. No, it's pretty good. But yeah, no, we're all really good at JoJo's here. It's just we got to get back into it. We started focusing on Hokuto no Ken instead because we were already the best at JoJo's, you know. Now we got to become the best at Hokuto. Dude, I. JoJo's pisses me off. I can't beco become the best at that game. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand the throw mechanics and, like, the problem characters like Iggy and Debo. They just piss me off. <laughs> and the fact that um, Bang. Pet Shop is soft banned and That's fucking Whole Horse's slow boats are soft banned. Oh, all that soft band shit? Well, the only thing I really ban is... Well, it just depends on what we do. The only thing I really banned was Pet Shop. Bang, you're fighting Juno. Oh, he has to get his stick. Oh, you played... Was it the online JoJo's tournament? Pole? Uh, yeah, he's he's really stupidly good. It's like you know what you're doing. He's a bit awkward though. Let me fix the names really fast. Well, I'm assuming this tournament did not like. It was like the entire. It, it, it was like an entire world tournament where like you had to like play like South America as well. So, uh, and CPS3 games are naturally pretty laggy on Fightcade. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that it was probably a bit shaky. You can commentate if you want. That's fine. Who won your match, though? Oh, okay. What was the score? All right. If you guys want to peek at the Vampire Savior bracket, here it is. Right. Yeah. It's right around here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Save for a second while I set up another match. Okay. Uh, all right. Man, Bang was doing some sick shit right there. <laughs> that was that right? was unfortunate. Well, you gotta give it your best shot, right? I think like Bang is actually real on fight. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay. Yo guys. We play JoJo here sometimes. We used to, but I think Rotanabor plans to bring it back a little bit. Starts off very strong. Excuse me. Damn. Landed that unblockable. Matt needs to establish some pressure right now. Yeah, I know. Which is very hard to do versus Rotanabor because his instant push box. Not quite enough damage to kill, but... It's pretty fast, yeah. <clears throat> oh, you're right. You're absolutely right. I'm sorry. Stab denies the dark boards. Matt having a hard time trying to get some uh, momentum going here, which he really needs. In this matchup, it's very bad for Jetta, but he has a chance. The one thing about Jetta is like he may be like lower mid tier but he does tons and tons of damage. You get some legit momentum and pressure going with him, you can end a match very, very quickly. Well, same can be said for Raptor, you know. But the skill gap for Raptor is really, really high. Sledge already break this chair? Holy shit. Sledge already broke this chair, dude. This chair has already, already been broken. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. I thought I sat in it earlier and I didn't feel like it was this messed up. Because it's really messed up right now. Well, he did sat, sit on it. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Alright, there we go. The Vita and Mike Z. Okay, this is, uh, yeah, Davidian Mike Z. 
Yes. As all of you guys know, Mike Z from Marvel 2 and Guilty Gear. I, I knew him originally as a Blaze Blue player, the filthy Blaze Blue player. Oh, yeah, he played Tager in that too. Yeah. No Dyer or KFL. Dyer is probably busy working or with friends, and KO, KFL's, I don't he, know. He said he was working today. Uh, I played him for a couple hours yesterday though, on my stream. If you look at my hours, there's like two hours of me playing Dyer. He's too sick, man. What are we posting the link for? He probably wants to like retweet it or something or send it out, maybe. If you want to retweet, I mean, it's a... Uh, that should be me right there. This right there. I almost beat Tronzilla. Yeah, I know. You got really close, dude. I feel like I, I can beat him next time. I, I'm, I'm getting, like, a better understanding of how to beat Tekka Man Blade now. Yeah, no, it, that matchup just takes you a while. You'll definitely be able to do it, but... Because your characters can actually fight against them, I think. It's just you got to get used to it. Yeah. So Mike loses one, so he goes uh, Gallon, which uh, is his ult. Which I do not agree with. Oh, I told him it's the best grappler in the game. I said I like Dimitri. So well, he's, he's like, okay. He's not going for the option select when he not gets a knockdown. Let's see. Oh, sick! Yes. He did it! <laughs> that wasn't even like the usual one. He did, it looked like he just did some random shit and winged it and got it in the end anyways. And Mike Z, <laughs> Mike Z knows everything. You already know Mike Z knows everything. Oh yeah. Okay, you have to do a slightly different combo against the uh, Gallon if you're all that, because he can actually crouch uh, the standing medium punch. Oh wow. Yes. Oh, okay, not this time. Gallon's not this not time. In Unio, but he's in Blaze Blue. He's Valkenhayn, pretty much. Now, there was a character in uh, Unio he kind of felt was like Gallon, but I can't remember which one it was now. It was one of the top three, I think. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, I know he... He, he set that up. He set that trap up perfectly. Well, I'm pretty sure that bubble would have popped before it actually reached him. So if he just blocked, I'm pretty sure he would have been okay. But... It's hard to tell, especially you're not used to it. I think. I Okay, uh. You can play a match right now? Oh, no, I can get a match. Where's Dyna? Uh, I think he's like sleeping. Uh, I don't play Unio, but I know how to use Gordel a little bit. That's about it. Like I know his dash C. No, no, it's like crouch A, crouch B, stand C, Rekka twice, then like crouch C, up forward C, but you have to hold it. And then down forward C, and then you need to do Rekka three times. That's like the only combo I know. Anyway. <clears throat> wow. Before I could even get to the match, it was over. Yeah. 
So are so you I'm just playing a set at this point? I, I guess so. I mean... That sounds like something Mike Z would do. I don't know. I don't actually know what they're doing right now, to be honest. But I, like thought, I thought their match was over. <laughs> nah, they just they tend to just play. Like, when Mike Z gets in there and beats up, he's just like... Warning. Yes. Gotta get it. Yeah. Look at that bubble. <laughs> that was... That was the most unfortunate series of events he could have done. Yeah. Wow, that was a really good throw. And tag. What and are they playing? The this is Vampire Savior. Yeah, dude. You gotta be on your P's and Q's. Alright, that was giving me a punch. <clears throat> Look at this neutral. Get excited. Wow, rolls right into the bubble. That's so sad. What? How unfortunate. Yo, roll up. He rolled up. Aw. I came way too late. That was, uh, that looked like that would be a cool set. DeVita looking extremely happy. Damn right. Why would it not? He plays fish. He's good. He's fine. Mini Man extremely happy right now. I mean, I like Mike's. I like Mike playing better when he wasn't playing Guitar Bane. I just don't, I just don't care about Guitar Bane. But like yeah, when he played lately, I'm just like, yeah, that seems like something Mike Z would do. He's gonna make it shine. But like I see Guitar Bane, it's just like. I yeah. think Guitar Bane's boring. Yeah, like it kind of sucks because he's like not aesthetically boring, but his gameplay is really boring. Yeah. So like, yeah. I'm going to jump, and I'm going to do kicks, and you're going to get hit a lot, I guess. Yay. Woo. Yeah, pretty much. Like, even Sasquatch is just like, oh, shit, these spikes coming out in penguins. I'm scared. He might do a punch, and I'm going to have to block it. Or any other character, like Lilith. Oh, my God. When there's cool Lilith players around, I just can't not be excited. Oh, so they Lilith were is so scary when a good player is using her. Oh yeah, cause like, have you, you fought? Have you ever fought Dire? Dire? Ah uh, yeah. 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 Fighting Dire is <laughs> that's the pain. Oh. Yeah. So we're doing Sledge. This is Sledge versus Dine. Uh. Dine already taking off a bat? No, not yet. For those who don't know, Anacharis is like pretty much the worst character in this game. He has a useless guard cancel, uh, pretty much useless dark force, and no push block. His limbs are also really easy to punish and poke him out. And uh, his jump is like a float. He doesn't have a normal jump, he has a float. On the bright side of Anacris, he does have decent momentum and normals, I guess. Anacris is just like, you're handicapping yourself. Yeah. The best thing Anacris has is like. He also has jump. a dive kick. He has, he has float jump, he has dive kick, and he has a screen swap. But he has way more negatives and positives. Yeah. Isn't that the truth? But when you see someone put in work with Anacris, you can't. There's no Johns. You can't John at that point. Yeah, this character needs like pure dedication. Wow, that's rough. You, you need, you need to love Anacris to play him. It's true. You're in it for love. I think he looks cool. Yeah, Anacris. That's is, the best part about Anacris. Anacris is definitely an interesting character. He's just like when very you whoop on somebody, you can't. Okay. Also, he has a projectile, which is a curse. Oh yeah, the yeah. ES version. So, if if you by chance hit somebody with the ES version of the projectile, you can basically like ninety percent damage like the character, like a hundred percent pretty much. Good. Actually, I don't even I, on weaker characters. I think you can hundred percent if you land ES That's curse. That's so cool. Just that effect is really cool. But the only downside is it's just so slow. Oh yeah, it's like. Mm -hmm. Like, you'd have to be asleep to get hit by it unless you're in the corner. Yeah. Really. But it's a thing. And I'm pretty sure Sledge takes it. 
No, no, I'm, I'm blind. Sorry, I'm blind. Dime takes it. My bad. I'm tripping. If you guys also don't know, um, you could actually play this game online. Uh, and there's actually quite a few American players compared to foreigners. So if you play Savior online, you'll find a, like decent players with good connections. What's up? Okay. How's it going, everyone? This is Dine. So right now it looks like Rotanabor and Juno are up. So allow me to fix that. Looks like player one will be Juno. Allow me to fix that. Player two should be Rotanabor. Yup, Trip Derps. Uh, all the characters are pretty awesome, but I'll tell you from first-hand experience, yeah. Jetta is poop. Right here I have with me is the one and only Sledge of God. It's crack a He's uh, the opponent that I just fought against with the Anacharis who got me several times with the curse. It's pretty good. Oh, look at that. We got two uh, top-tier characters. Hooray. Yep. We got the cheese characters. But let's see how Rotanabor tries to take out QB with the uh, range and speed that Juno has. And so far, the match looks a little even. They're keeping their distance. They're keeping up close, actually, which is unusual. They're both trying to rush each other down. Oh, gets himself out with the round, standing roundhouse. All right, Rotanabor is right now. He got the knockdown. Didn't get the knockdown at all, but he's got himself into the corner. Juno's going with his usual instant air dash pressure. He's getting a little bit of mileage out of that. He's getting the pokes right now. Oh, he actually got wow. the little poke with the with the honey, but he didn't get any follow up after that. This could be Juno's match right now. He's up by one. Okay, he threw a little B. Okay, he accidentally must have thrown out the Dark Horse. Cost him the match right that time. R Rotanabor is keeping the pressure right now in the corner. He's keeping all the pressure with the normals right now. Juno got himself out. He's getting in there right now. He's trying to rush him down into the corner. He's getting in the instant air dash. Getting him all clean. Pushing him back with the tech hits. He's getting in with the rush down pressure. Oh! oh but the death Welcome voltage. to America! Oh, man. Okay, this could be it. Oh, he didn't get the grab. Rotanabor still going strong. He gets wow. the rush down pressure and he that match. The that match. matchup kind of reminded me what uh, playing top tier is all about. Yeah, it's all about or just vampire. This is what Visa is all about. Yeah, man. It's That's all what about I meant playing to say. with real characters, real real bees, real zombies. No vampires. No no crappy poop characters. Rare Rotanabor getting up by one. Starting off the match fresh right now. Both players are keeping their distance. Rotanabor is keeping control. Getting the knockdowns right now. He gets the unblockable and gets a sweep right now. Pushes Juno to the corner. Gets him with the sweep. Or rather the anti-air. Nice guard cancel. That does quite a little bit of damage once it racks up there. Okay, Juno gets himself out of the corner. That's good. You never want to be stuck in the corner against Raptor. So you want to get out there as cleanly, as importantly as it is, as soon as possible. Gets himself set up with the diving drill. All right. Rotanabor still keeping in control. Gets up by one bat. So it's round even. Right now, QB is still down by half. Gets a command throw. This could be it. He's still putting up a fight. Right. Oh, but he gets a command throw. Wow. Raw. ES. Beautiful match. Beautiful fight. Pretty solid. Guys went in quick. So right now we're going to be looking up to see uh, who's up next. So let's see. Uh, right now we're going to see uh, what the next match is for the time being. I know, right? Things are so fancy using the zombie. I could use a zombie like that. Man, 
I could play friggin' zombie. No, it's not. It's not. All right. Okay. Maybe it is. No, don't look. Don't look. <laughs> uh, right now, we're going to see who's up next. Uh, Davida may be up in the next match subsequent after this, but uh, we're going to see what's up right now. So just sit tight, guys. Right now, it would be uh, Weatherby versus another gentleman. I'll get the name down right now. Okay. So it'll be Weatherby versus POS Industries. Weatherby. Okay. He is not British. He is Australian. He is the strongest Australian character in fighting games. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Go to Fight Kid www.fightcade.com Yep, so if you guys uh, ever had problems or you just wanted to try and create a scene or you just want to play a game or you want to see what uh, how poop Jetta is, hit up the website that Rotanabor just linked, www.fightcade.com Everything is uh, already self-set up, so all you need to do is register an account, download the client, extract it somewhere, and uh, just get the game You know where the usual sources are. People will help you out with that and just uh, have fun and connect to each other as soon as you can and play with the, your friends and family. Yep, yep, yep. It's basically and what GGPO was, but since GGPO is basically gone now, uh, yeah. we use Fight Kid instead. Uh, the client is quite updated. You have replays. You also have replays that you can link to each other. You got profile oh, yeah. pages. So you can, you can re replay stuff to somebody. Yeah, you can I go back much. and watch all night's matches, and then when he loses, I just snicker to myself. Absolutely. Yeah, and you I get mean. to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I, I make compilation videos of dying. So you could have a, a really good time hosting tournaments as well because people can host... Now you can uh, faithfully host your own tournaments and have people report their own scores. And if for whatever reason, uh, replays make it very easy to uh, catch up and keep a toll on what's going on. So uh, yeah, right now, Weatherby took the match, so that would be one point for him. Yeah, no, I run a Vampire Savior Fight Kid tournaments occasionally. They used to be weekly, but I've been having trouble getting them actually on a set schedule. It's all right. Uh, as, uh, as you may have heard just now, uh, there have been regular weeklies before. Uh, you know, life catches us by every once in a while, so we're trying to see what we can do to get more matches going on again. They may be going on Sundays again, uh, or yeah, another time. I've been doing them on Sundays when I do have time. Uh, it's just, not, it's not this Sunday because basically I'm in Arctic right now. I'm gonna be yeah. getting home at like 4 a.m. I'm not gonna wake up in time for the tournament. Absolutely. So. I'm not but, really worried. About but that remember, too much. if you guys really want to play any games, uh, Vampire Savior, your best bet is uh, fightcade.com. Or you could go get the games on uh, PSN and Xbox 360, but you're definitely going to find your opponents on FightK.com. It's also yeah. very sociable. You get to communicate easily with people. Uh, you can spectate live games at once, uh, so on and so on. And most importantly is uh, if you need any help or you just want to find some matches, you almost always find somebody willing to play if you just ask around. Uh, so that means like whether that takes Weatherby it. takes that set. Man, I'm going to speak for everyone when I say Go Kaiser is a Kaka game. It's Kaka everywhere. Kaka for life. Go Kaiser is the only game that you can have a little buddy the and still be upset that, about. The only game that Pacifying has ever beat me at. <laughs> you can have that one. Fine, you beat me at Gal Kaiser Pacifying. I'll live with it. Yo. That's real talk. Yeah. Do, I have to, do I have to fight Pasta Farin in King of Fighters 98 now? Juno's saying you can beat me in 98, Pasta. Damn. Oh, damn. So that means Chris, we have that's a lame. player oh. two. That would be Meaty Man, I believe. Okay. So we're going to update the bracket right now. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, everyone. Uh, please try to tune in uh, every often as possible. Rotanabor is always active on the Facebook group for Vampire Savior. So all your news, all your feedback, everything that's going on in the world vampire-related. Uh, you want to keep up to date with the Facebook group. And if anything else, just hit up the uh, Fight Cade and see if you need any help. That's bullshit. Dude. Pasafarian's a fucking shit talker. Oops. Pardon my French. Yeah, 98 is cool, man. I like it. Uh, I have uh, G 
Juno trying to teach me a few games when I have a chance, so I'm trying to learn X-Men versus Street Fighter. I just remember that Flareon is uh, JDR from NorCal. I keep forgetting. Oh, JDR? Yeah, it's, it's Del JDR. Rosario, I think. All right, so right now we have a pretty decent set. A uh, match between uh, Fish and Felicia, Meaty Man and DeVita. Uh, I'm actually going to get for a second, but one thing I want to say, if you have not yet followed my stream, please follow my stream. I stream. Yes, absolutely. I stream TVC, Vampire, Okuto, Ken, all the time. So please follow my stream. I'm going to be right back. He went for another Kitty Helper. Let's see how that pays him back in spades. DeVita has been... Growing tremendously as one of the most devastating and damaging and brutal new faces in Vampire Savior and Soul Cow right now. Nice man, pleasure to meet you again. All right, so he gets a uh, oh he oh he gets grabbed out of the bubble, so he must have done it too soon. Okay, so right now Meaty Man is putting on some good pressure. He's keeping the Vita from being able to bubble. Okay, so I'll be going up next, guys. Also in '98, I will probably body. Pasafarian, just because I know I will. So by no, sheer won't. willpower alone, dude. No, don't even say that shit to me, right? Pasafarian will beat you. I'm serious. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, sorry. Yeah, anyway. but learn how to do combos and stop mashing in that game. Yo, I could throw, all right? We'll go with that. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting a pretty good match right now. The guys are both even. It could be anyone's match right now. Yeah, random kitty helper, man. It's a SoCal special. I actually tried picking up Iori. Uh, he wasn't really my choice of character, but uh, Juno has been helping teach me the game, and uh, I've been having a lot of fun with Iori. I'm just having a lot of trouble catching up with Don't the uh, jumping, uh, the jumping kick that he does behind him. That one's really hard to do. But Daimon is pretty badass. He's amazing. You can just poke all. They can like play a poke game with Diamond and win. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. But I like uh, Shermie and stuff too, so I'm, I'm trying with them right now. Okay, so we got the next matchup right now. Meaty Man is putting up a decent fight. Okay, he's putting up uh, some good pressure. He's keeping up with the fundamentals. That's good. De Devita is not one to be reckoned with. He gets those constant double throws every time. It's very difficult to get those follow-up throws. When you throw a character, you when, when you catch someone in a throw, you could actually press back throw at the very moment that they hit the floor and it'll count as a second throw. So you could do two throws if you time it just right. And DeVita gets them almost 99% of the time. It's amazing. Nice. Okay, so Meaty Man is still putting up a good fight right now. He's not using any of the meter yet for a Kitty Helper and he still has one, so he might use a Buckler at this point. Benny's cool. Benny Maru, I like him. I really like him in Capcom vs. SNK1. Oh, he gets a Dark Force, but he didn't get it. He gets poked out. He gets lost with the round right now. Gets a double throw again. It's unbelievable. That is really hard to do. So right now, Davida is putting up a good fight. He's keeping his distance right now. Trying to play it safe. It's very hard to get in on Felicia. And it's very dangerous to get in on Felicia. Gets a pursuit. Okay, throws out around the bubble. Oh, he almost jumped into it, but gets the punish with the jumping heavy punch. Alright, this could be Davida's fight. Oh, but he gets a Dark Force instead to try and get him in the corner. Some, when, during the Dark Force, you could actually get off of the seashell and try to keep the same kind it's of pressure. It's a horseshoe crab. Want. What is it? Horseshoe crab. Horseshoe crab? Okay. Yeah. Alright, I sound like a dumbass. Oh, he gets a random kitty helper. He didn't get it. And while in Dark Force, too, so that's a waste of two meter. But he still gets a fight. Gets a second throw again. Unbelievable. Get another tech hit. Gets in the corner. Tries pushing him in, gets him with the anti here, and he punishes him. Celebratory victory, slap of the hand. Amazing, good fight. So, right now, that means that I have to uh, compete with the winner of that match. So, I have to go up. So, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll leave you guys to Juno right now and Kitty Helper and Super. It's like Kitty Helper is that little time when the cat comes out of nowhere to help uh, hit somebody, and if she doesn't, it takes forever for her to run off screen. And then uh, you have the uh, Dark Force, you know, coming out to try and help, too. So I'll be right back, guys. I'm sitting on a broken chair, and I'm sliding out of it. Ugh.
Bishamon and Unio. If they tuned him so he like fit into the game, he'd probably be insane. But they would have to like He would have to have like his slashes would have to go like farther, like full screen like everybody else's normals. Anyway, Dine playing Oh shit, names aren't changed. Dine is playing Black Jetta, that almost confused me for a second. He's, he usually uses purple Jetta. Both players are pretty scary. Dine likes to play very aggressive, very, um, I, I would like to say disrespectful. He just is constant offense, like his life depends on the match. That's how aggressive he is. And Davida is aggressive as well, but a little bit more calculated with his uh, normals and shit. He also sets up bubble pressure pretty well. <laughs> nice throw. Wow. Ticks, he ticks him into the contract super. Slices him in half. It takes his soul. Damn. I didn't think that would work. I think... I thought that, like, he would have to wait a little bit longer before he could get caught in that. Yeah, that was only one. I thought he had to wait a little bit longer before he could get caught into that. It kind of looked like it, like, comboed, almost. Yeah. Oh, Kane, what's up? Yo, Kane, I'm, I'm thinking of, like, <clears throat> running the MSH tourney here. If we do do one. Like, I, I might do it. If Rodanapore is okay with it. Jetta's awesome. He's very, also very bloody. Like, all of his normals have, like, blood flying out. Wow. Gets a contract. It's actually anyone's game right now. <laughs> like, I, I didn't agree with that bubble right there. It was a waste of meter, but... Get the knockdown and make it count right here. Oh, no. He didn't block the overhead. That's bad. Goes for the contract. Misses. Wow. He knew he was going to set up the bubble and jumped immediately. Davida. Oh, that. Oh, my. Wow. Oh, my God. Davida missed the dash link, but he still got the combo. Got the ES pursuit. I was actually afraid he was going to lose there. But he caught him with a jump light kick. Predicted the jump. That's pretty good. I can tell Davida's playing really hard right now. Nice throw. He keeps going for the contract. It's uh it's not really that good. Dine has a huge lead. Yeah. Dine is angry now. Pungo Punko status. Wow. Davida's got to get some momentum going right now. He's got to make everything count. He still has a chance. Get that one hit in. Take off the bat. Damn. 
That's really bad. Now, now it's really, uh, it's really hard to win this situation. He could just dash in and press buttons. Uh, wow, nice double throw. Gets air thrown. That's it. Kane, be quiet, man. You don't need a freaking month. God damn. Nobody, nobody's even started practicing the game except you. I'm not gonna lie though, you, you got that sick, the sick Iron Man combo going already. I was actually uh, shocked that you learned that already. I'm gonna have to learn some new Blackheart shit. All right, Dian is like, he's drunk and high right now. He said he'd beat Kane. He, Kane, he said he'll beat your ass with Shumagura. I don't, I don't think like that'll happen. He's gotta, he's gotta practice the game a little. He hasn't practiced Shuma at all. But I, I, I think I can teach Dian a really cheesy uh, Shumagura. I knew he would use Shuma also because, like, he has a super throw. Like, come on. And, it, like, you can OTG from it. It does so much damage. It's ridiculous. Oh. Uh, yeah, actually, I think that voice actor has, like, done a lot of games. Vampire Savior? Good starting character for new player. Are you new, just new to the game, or are you new to, like, fighters in general? Yeah, Magneto with armor is basically you get invincibility for like five seconds. Dimitri is pretty basic, but you also have to do like button command supers. Like, and you also have to know how to, um, uh, what the hell is it? You have to like use setups with him. You have to use a lot of uh, deep and bite setups, use his frame traps. Uh, you have to be good at DPing. Um. I would suggest, like, either Dimitri or Sasquatch. 
fish is pretty easy too. So just sit down on the chair. Also, Gallon's pretty easy. Anacris is easy in a sense that, like, his combos are easy and, like, his game plan's easy, but he's a hard character to play and master. It's just because he sucks so much ass. Felicia's pretty easy, too. Fish, Wolf, Felicia are pretty easy. Those three. But those are also the characters that everybody fucking hates as well. Because they're really strong. As well as being really easy. Morgan uh, not so easy, no. I don't I, I don't think so. Okay, let me change these names. Morgan is not bottom tier. The, bo the two bottom tier characters are Anacris and uh, Victor. game's uh, a little strange because even though like you have the low tiers and shit they're obviously not as good as the high tiers and like pressure and damage and everything but at a high level the the low tiers are actually pretty frightening like Lilith for example if you play her at a high skill level um she becomes really intimidating. Like if you can combo to ally, uh, use Lilith's like guard breaks and shit, and uh, just like that. If you could do that with Lilith, you're already pretty intimidating. But she also takes like a lot of work as well. If you want like the scrubbiest high tier character, it's probably Sasquatch. Or Gallon. If you want to play a character like Lilith or Morgan, uh, you, you're gonna have to like practice a lot of matchups, uh, practice the defensive mechanics pretty well, and uh, be able to combo into Li or Di whenever you get a chain or whenever you get a chance. Yeah. You also have to learn how to dash link into chain LI with Lilith as well. Yeah. If you have good defense, at least, um, 
you can make a low tier character very intimidating in this game. But it's going to require a lot more work. Of course, obviously. Dash is just forward forward. If you want to do uh, instant air dash, it's 9 9. There's very few people in the world who have made characters like uh, Victor and Anacharis actually work. And win tournaments. Or come close to winning tournaments. It's uh, Grom versus Mike Z. Pretty much, uh, Marvel 2 is like copy paste everything. They just decided to cram all the characters from all the games in just one game and just call it Marvel 2. That's why there's so many bugs, so many infinites. The game's so horribly unbalanced. But it's still fun. But there's a lot of ca characters in that game that are just not viable. Like, there's probably eight characters that are viable in that game. Dimitri is pretty much a Shoto, and Morgan's a Shoto, and Lilith is kind of a Shoto, I guess. I mean, they both have a Fire Bomb and DP. So I guess you can call them Shoto. Nice teleport throw by Mike Z. Yeah, a lot of old games are really unbalanced. But Sakura is actually pretty good in like Alpha series, man. And in Street Fighter 4, he's, she's really good. She's also really good in CBS uh, 2. Yeah, they, ha they have Shoto moves, but they don't play like Shoto. That's true. Their game plan, like no one's game plan in this game is to just fireball in DP. Except for Dimitri, he does it a lot, but still his whole game plan is not just fireball in DP. Yeah, like eight, eight characters are viable. Anyway, this matchup is an example of a bad matchup for Lilith, in my opinion. I mean, uh, Lele. I don't think tears 
matter that much in a game like this. But in a game like Marvel 2, yeah. Like, there's some really, really good players who play Marvel 2 and they, like, just use low tier. And, you know, as good as they are, they just don't, they don't win tournaments just, just for the fact that their character is not good enough. It's just a matter of time before they lose. Yeah, Video is really, really good player, but I don't know. The thing is with Ken, you could actually potentially. All right, you could you could actually potentially like beat a lot of good teams with that character, just because his Tasu damage is like unscaled, I guess. I don't even know. It just does busted damage for some reason. I don't know if it's a bug. But you do like one air Tatsu combo with Ken and that's like 60% of your health. I don't know what's up with that. But still, he does not have the mobility and damage and tools that all the Mar Marvel characters have. What are you talking about? Marvel 2. And why is video on the chat? Why is his name mentioned on the chat? Is he is he on the chat? No. Juan, why are we guys talking about video? Calm, <laughs> calm the fuck down, man. Uh, he's not in there. He's not in there. He's not in there. Look 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 in that chat. He's not in there. I don't know. Maybe he goes he's, by. You gotta, you gotta look around that chat. He's not gonna be in there. All right. <laughs> well, why bring the video though? Is, is he a VSAT player? I thought he was like strictly like a Marvel. He's a Marvel CBS2 player. If I remember correctly. I guess so. Oh yeah, I saw him at Evo playing uh, CBS, CBS 2. Yeah, he loves that fucking game. He, he plays, plays fucking. He plays Pigou. Uh, he played Geese. Geese. Yeah, he plays Geese, Zangief, and like some combination of like Raiden or something. Dude, some that shit was thing. funny watching him, dude. Yeah, he's really good. I, I he, actually played him here. At he UGC. he made a comeback with Geese, like a reverse OCB. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His his Geese is really fucking good. I always wanted um, Lucky to play him because. You know, like he's like the resident Geese player, so. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's really good. And he fucking reps low tier, like in Marvel 2, like nobody's business, dude. Yeah. You've seen him play, right? He plays uh, Rogue, Colossus, and uh, Ken. Ken. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Juan, man. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully. What's that? Yeah, no. You want to bring it? I mean. Once. I mean, I'm not leaving anywhere. I wouldn't mind going. He hasn't talked to me. You guys want to play Third Strike? Well, apparently there's some interest. We've been playing it for like these guys have been playing it for the past two days, so they want to. I guess they want to just grind in some Third Strike play. I mean, nice. I'm down for it. I just didn't bring my console. I didn't come from my house. I actually came from a like a family barbecue dinner or something. Um, I had a subway, but I'm still hungry right now. Huh? Well, I want to, but anyway. I don't know. Uh, how do you, how would you feel? Would you be down for an MSH tournament here tonight? No, not tonight. Oh, like probably be, probably like in a month. What about in a month? In a month's time? Okay, I mean that. Yeah, definitely be down. Or maybe meant, sooner. Like yeah, like on the next Mikado night, or that would be appropriate, no? Yeah. Maybe. I mean, Kane wanted a month of practice, and I'm like. Dude, yes, we can't, he we also can't, wanted, he also wanted a macro your, for your needs, fucking. Dude. He also wanted a macro for three P. We can't all um, cater to your fucking needs, Kane. Actually, we should cater a little bit to Kane because he's been uh, really nice. Yeah. Well, Matt's got to help me. He's got to give me the, the 360 that has but the game. I, I didn't bring that. Hold on. Give me one. Kane, you already know a dope-ass Iron Man combo. That's all you need. I think one week is enough. Plus, I'm probably going to be using Blackheart. Like, I know for a fact if I entered the tournament as Wolverine, I'll win. But, I quit playing that character like a long time ago. He's just like too fucking free, to be honest. 
Blackheart is like way, way more fun. So is Juggernaut. We gotta like uh, remind people to practice today. It doesn't take that much practice to learn the game. It's just like you practice like the most important combos and then just go online and fight be casuals for matchups and shit. I'm not sure who I want to use that though. Either Blackheart or Jugger. We're gonna do gems on too as well. Gems make the game more interesting. Anyway, I gotta change these names. Yeah, I just noticed. And Kane, it's not that serious of a tournament, man. It's fucking MSH. I personally want to run it just uh, for the fun of it, to be honest. You might want to like practice after saying that crap about Kane because he, he's already really good with Iron Man right now. Dude, he, he, you, yo, go online, look at a Marvel combo video for MSH, and look at the Iron Man combo. That's the combo that Kane already knows. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Uh, I've been informed that we're gonna do third strike. I'm talking to the stream. Just, just fuck up and go away. Fucking random ass <laughs> third strike tournament after Vampire Savior. Okay, people are right right here are like fiending for third strike, so we're gonna do third strike tournament. I think or third strike casuals. Or it might be around Robin. I don't know. People are f really fiending the third strike right now, so. Yeah, no 3P, because uh, 3P is a macro, and the arcade, there's only six buttons. So, basically macroing is cheating. Well, if you want to use macros online, that's sure. Why not? There's like no way to know if people use macros online and no way to stop people from using macros online unless they disable it on Fightcade. Yeah, but if I can disable macros, I'd be I'd be down with it. But it probably won't happen. All right, 
So this is nostalgic versus Mike C. They need to get rid of macros for JoJo, seriously. That game, like, I'm not gonna lie, that's one of the reasons why I don't play online at that game much anymore. Actually, that's, like, the second reason why. The first reason why is, like, I hate the throw mechanics in that game. And the second reason is, people abuse the macros hardcore in that game. Also, Fighting in lag and JoJo's is basically like not playing the game at all. You're not learning anything from playing in a little bit of lag from JoJo's. Because that game needs perfect execution. But the game is good though. Not gonna lie, the game is fun. As it's online, it's, uh, it's a little iffy. Also, player 2 side doesn't have a combo counter. That needed to be fixed and never got fixed. You can macro uh, three punch and three kick in JoJo. Or, I mean, uh, three punches, my bad. Or three attacks. I'm pretty sure Atari. I already know Dine uses macros for rolling. Pretty sure Cloud Skipper fucking uses macros because he plays on pad. Yeah. If you see people just rolling constantly, abusing it all the time, there's a high chance they're using macros online. There's plenty of people who use macros, Kane, trust me. You'd be surprised. Anyway, this matchup sucks for Jetta. I'm talking about binding A, B, C to one button, man, so, that, so you can roll and super easily, super without error. Yes, that's what I was talking about the whole time. Oh, Nostalgic's actually doing pretty good here. Damn. This matchup is absolutely terrible for Gallon. Well, he pulled through. Still a macro, man. It, the game is not supposed to be used with macros. It does give you a slight advantage, actually. Not even gonna argue, dude. If the game is like, if the game's six buttons and you have seven buttons, you're using a macro and it's cheating. Like, you know that guy? What's his name? Uh, uh, Fanatic. That dude. Fanatic? Really? Hanky Panky in there? Anyway, Fanatic is a good Marvel 2 player, I guess, but he used macros. And he's on pad. He um, in my eyes, that's just fucking cheating. A lot of his money that he got was from cheating. And I'm, I'm not being a hater either. This is the truth. And people call him out on it too, so. 
besides, like, if you play Marvel 2 in a pad, you, you actually don't need macros. You could play using, like, claw method or whatever. You don't even need to use your thumb, and dashing is super easy. But it doesn't take away from the game. The game's still really good. It's fun. But I think JoJo's should be played more uh, offline, in my opinion. versus CDAD. Anyway, it's pretty even right now. Uh, Sledge is one of the... Actually, both these players are very good at a lot of games. Eddie likes to play... Actually, both these players like to play super aggressive, to be honest. Wow. Did not think he'd get hit by that. He also had a chance to combo the uh, the LI from that uh from that ES throw. Yo, you know you can uh, LI from that. Oh, yeah. If you get that ES throw with Lilith, you can connect. Um, you can connect the LI and it combos. He ch he said he tried to do it. He could have ended the match uh, quicker if he'd done that. Nice. This is what I mean with Anacris. Like, whoa, what the hell was that? <laughs> what, what was that? What did Anacris just do? Oh my gosh. No. These games don't. Unless they're like put on a console or something. But in arcade, no. But you see what see what I mean with the Nackers? Like you get some momentum going, you get those overheads. You can end the match so quickly. Yeah, we have Darkstalkers Resurrection and shit, but um, people liked using that for a little while, and then everybody's just like, "Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna play on real arcade hardware instead. It feels better. There's no button mapping. Um, I don't know." People were complaining that uh, it was like too slow on the console version I think I don't know I I personally thought it was okay but you know
Nice anti-air. Crouching hard punch. If you do crouching hard punch with an Acarus at a certain height, um, you could either cancel it into another normal or you can't cancel it. I think that's how his uh, anti-air hard punch works. Also, if you're trying to anti-air with an Acarus using crouching hard punch uh, versus the air dashers, it has to be like super preemptive. Like you have to press the button like before the person air dashes and presses normal, just because of the the uh, the startup. Also, if you guys saw Desk's videos, if you're thinking of like playing BB Hood in this game, just because you saw like her doing an infinite and shit online, that's that's not gonna happen. Her her infinites are so hard to do and require so much practice. There's a reason why I call this. What the hell are you talking? Go fight myself. Yes, go fight yourself. Who do I fight? Defending Sledge. I've gone. Okay. After this, we're going to have... What's up, guys? Sorry, I was uh, eating food, everybody. I was very hungry. <laughs> we're moving along, though. Moving along. After this, like I said, we're going to be having... Uh, a third strike tournament. Where? Power? I don't know. Maybe. I think you're just saying power. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Kane is talking shit about you. And you guys took a while, what the hell? I made it. I made Eddie. Oh, you did go out and eat. I thought you were just getting the PlayStation. Did Carlos come back? No, he was Oh. Alright. Later. Why you, why you gotta talk that shit about Sledge, Kane? The Sledge of God. Nice back dash, nice back dash. So I just saw uh, the point too bad today. He's not gonna win this match, but he's not, he's not playing too bad. <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta at least be able to say, I went down fighting, you know? That's the important thing. You gotta at least be able to say, I didn't get fucking bopped. You gotta at least be able to say that. So always give your 100%, guys. Always. Oh, Sledge is trying to get out of there. No, Sledge. No, you're going to... Ooh, you got super lucky that curse hit. No, get in there and medium punch him, Sledge. Medium punch. Damn it. And Akers has a slight lead. This is amazing. Yes. All right. Oh, he, sh he almost just should have blocked it. He needs to stop jumping back because he just re-cornered himself right then, basically. Uh, basically, if you, the bubble's out there, you kind of just need to jump and block it. 
You might get guard broken or something, but it's better than being cornered against QB. <laughs> he, she's trying to make that crouching hard bunch of work. He's trying. Oh shit, this is a chance. This is a chance. Chop him! Chop him! No, just chop, man. Just get him the chops. No, dude, just don't don't recorner yourself if the bubbles are out. You know what I mean? Don't like recorner yourself. Jump into the bubble and block it or something. Don't recorner yourself. Because uh, getting out of the corner in that situation is not too bad of an idea, but like jumping back into the corner <laughs> afterwards doesn't have much use. Ah, uh, good stuff though. You were able to say, I went down with a fight. I just won. I am the winner. I am the winner. You're saying he was in the chat. Wait, what? Chin dog. I'm hungry. I'm still hungry. Bang Camara versus an assault. It. You want to commentate this? Hello, Juno. What are you, are you, you going somewhere? Where are you going? You requires food. Are you gonna tell? So I, when, when I got the hot dog. I told him to put a piece of cheese on with the hot dogs. Give me, give me, he gave me the slice of cheese. It was all right. <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't really put on a bunch of other condiments, though. So it was, it was a nice way to make it a little more uh, liquidy, I guess, a little more juicy. What's well, in you? What? Isn't that where you're gonna get food from? Yeah. Dude, you, you have enough hot dogs already, dude. All right. So we have a uh, Bang Camaro versus Nostalgic right now. Nice down here. That's sick. Didn't quite get the cancel into uh, Ten Raya. I figure he was trying for it though. Ooh, chill out for a second, Bane. Get that life back. You still have a lot more juice on that bat. Wow, that was really, really preemptive anti air right there. There's an open spot. Put him in there. Yeah, nostalgic. Um, I mean, Soul Cal brings out the best in nostalgic. <laughs> You can like fight like my Jetta or uh, Dine's Jetta to get a better feel of what you should be doing more often. Kind of keep things a little more fresh in his head. He's also probably playing it more out here in general because we play every single week compared to uh, in NorCal. Also, this is arcade. 
and Arcade Savior is Best Savior. Also, uh, also, also, um, I still haven't actually got, like, it set up for them to play, uh, Vampire Savior. Did he, did he give up? <laughs> I was like, what the? I was like, did you... Did a fire start somewhere in the store? You have to go attend to it? What happened? <laughs> okay, so uh, Bang took that one. We'll, we'll just go with that. Bang, Bang took it. I think it's gonna be Bang and Devita next. I gotta get Devita over here and Bang as well. 